Okay guys, I get it. This is probably not a fair comparison. We're talking about the Rode Gun Video Mic Pro shotgun microphone versus the Rode Lavalier mic. And clearly one is going to sound a lot better than the other. I just wanted to give you guys an idea if the extra money for the Rode Video Mic Pro is actually worth it to you for the sound quality difference. So this video will give you a really good idea of what both sound like, and then you can make an informed decision if the extra couple hundred dollars is actually worth it for you. The way that I'm gonna do that is I'm going to record three different scenarios. One is quiet room like I'm recording right now. One is gonna have some background music playing, and then the other one we're gonna have my trusty fan blowing at the microphones so we can kind of get an idea of what it would sound like in a windy environment. And yes, I do have a dead cat for both microphones. And now I'm recording with the Rode VideoMic Pro with some music playing in the background. Uh, unfortunately, I have to use copyright free music, so I'm sorry if it's terrible. So, so far this video has been recorded with the Rode VideoMic Pro. I am now currently recording with the Rode SmartLav Plus. You can, you can kind of see it pinned over here. And now we're playing the same crappy copyright free music off of YouTube Studio with the Rode Smart Lab. If you're finding value in this video so far, please hit that like button so we can help get this video shared out to more people like you. And now I'm recording with my trusty fan blowing directly at the microphone with the dead cat on. And this is what it sounds like with wind blowing directly at the microphone right from here. And the microphone is right up here. So this again is with the Rode VideoMic Pro. And now I have the little windbreaker on. Jokes about breaking wind are welcome in the comments below. I'm now gonna turn the fan on. The fan is blowing directly at the mic. It just picked up to full speed. You can tell that it's facing me because I'm gonna start getting that robot voice. But yeah, it's, it's basically, of course, directly at the microphone so we can get exactly what this would sound like in a windy environment. I don't know what this is gonna sound like, obviously, until I play this back. So I'm actually really curious to see in windy conditions if the Smart Lab Plus or if the Video Mic Pro actually did a better job. Please let me know in the comments below. I just wanted to record a little bit of filler, just me talking on the Smart Lab Plus because I feel like a lot of this video was recorded with the Rode Video Mic Pro. So I think I'm just gonna insert this somewhere in where it makes sense and hopefully it gives you a better idea of the sound quality on the Smart Lab Plus versus the Rode VideoMic Pro. And I hope with this, you guys are able to make an informed decision on which one you should buy. And if you're interested, of course, I'll have links in the description below for you guys as well. All right, guys, so after listening back to the audio, I just wanted to give you guys my final thoughts. I definitely think there's a clear distinction between the Rode VideoMic Pro and the Rode Smart Lab Plus. I think just overall audio crispness and the different options that you have with the VideoMic Pro definitely surpass what you get with the Smart Lab Plus, but is the extra couple hundred dollars worth it for you to get the Video Mic Pro or is the Smart Lab Plus good enough? And really only you can decide that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. You can subscribe by clicking over here. YouTube thinks you should check out this video next. And if you like these kind of short to the point videos reviewing things I buy, then please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell as you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.